Hello and welcome back. Remember the situation from last time. I can still show you once more. We had this table, this address table. We also had the students table and we're referring with one entry in the students table to the address table. And then we realized, hey, we could even enter here. We can even enter uh, addresses which are not available. Address number five, but there is no, no address number five. Or worst case, I mean, who says that this this address number five was never available? Maybe it was available when I entered it yeah? and somebody deleted it. Also, nobody would stop this one person. In such small databases, it's usually no issue because I know everything. But in big databases where a lot of people are working, how should I know if I could delete an entry? Yeah? How should I know that there is a table referring to this entry? Yeah? I don't even have to know how many tables there are. Yeah? If there are a lot of people working in this database, this is not working. So I could only complain, what's that? Huh? I thought it's a database management system and now it's not managing the database, it's crap. Well, if the database management system could answer and have a little bit of feeling maybe, yeah, some artificial intelligence, then it would maybe say, hey, listen, user, you know, 95% of the errors are between screen and chair. How should I check if you don't tell me this is a reference? Huh? For me, it's just a number. Tell me it is a reference and you will have. I will check for you, okay? That's not wrong. That's not wrong. We never told our database management system that this particular comment, column here should be a reference to another table. Cannot work. Simply cannot work. Huh? This were really messed up. We really had to tell our database management system, hey, in this column, yeah, we are referencing another table. And we also have to tell which table uh, and which key of this table. Uh, how to identify. Then we are enabling the database management system, management system to check. If something is referring to this table, if some column is referring to this entry or not, because it knows exactly at which table something is referring to this entry. Okay. I said, we said one entry is usually identified by a primary key. So we use the primary key to identify where we are referring to. And how to tell the database management now that we are referring that this is a key value inside. It's not our key. It's someone else's key. It's a foreign key. Fremdschlüssel. And that's exactly the keyword. We must tell our database management system, hey, there is a foreign key inside. Please take care that the data is consistent. It is working pretty similar to the primary key topic. So if we want, if we want to, to uh, add a primary or a foreign key, then our create statement would have looked like this. Create table, if not exists, of course, student list, there is our primary key, student ID, auto increment, there's the forename, there's the surename, there's the born, and then there's the address. And this is, of course, again of the type integer unsigned. Yeah. And then we say, hey, there's a foreign key inside. And this foreign key is the field student address. Okay. And this foreign key is referencing the address list, the value address ID. Okay. This one line, this line here, root is really showing the database management system that's it 
Huh? Okay, now I know. Don't worry, I will take care about the data consistency. However, we cannot do this in our database. The history is simply different. We later realized, we later realized that we want to add the student address. So can we also add our foreign key? Yes, we can. <laughs> hold the table. We know all the table and we don't add a value or a column or a field or something. We add a foreign key and then exactly the same what we used before. Okay. So let's try this. Let's try this on our database. Yeah. So we are going to hold the table. Table name. It was student list. Yeah. It for eigen key. And we want to have the student address. And this is refer reference. Is it reference or referring? References, yeah. references, refer, references, my address list yeah. and the field address ID. Should work. Alter date, student list, add foreign key. Student address ref references address list uh, address ID back. Mm -hmm. It's not working. References. References. Ah, this is maybe. Yeah, this is maybe because we have this five inside. I will change this five. Yeah. Update. Student list. Set. Student. Address to null where student ID is for back. Student list passed. Finally, <laughs> now let's try the older table statement again. Ah, I have an error. Yeah. Still an error. All the table student list add foreign key. Ah, of course. The brackets are missing. Passed. Yeah. We now define this as foreign key. If we Select, select star from student list. We get this student address. It looks pretty much the same. If we describe our student list, you see now the student address is key mal. Okay, so there is an, a key inside. It knows it's a key inside. Now, I will now change again to five. Let's see if this is now blocking this stupid thing. Yeah, but, uh -huh. cannot add to update a child row. A foreign constraint failed. A foreign constraint failed. Yeah, there is no five. It checked. Yeah, our database management system checked uh, 
for consistency. Okay? So it really is working. There is written child row. What does it mean? What does it mean child row? Uh, well, child row, if you have foreign keys, yeah, so if you are referencing to a table, yeah, then this table you are referring to is called the parent table. Right? This is the parent table and there's a child table which is pointing to the parent table. And this is why it's written child row, okay? Because it's the child table. Parent table, child table. Child table is pointing to the parent table. Okay? So, indeed, this is working. Now, we can be sure that our data is consistent. Now, we have uh, told to our management system there is a key inside, there is a reference inside, and now our management system can check. Yeah? I can even try to delete one entry. If we're looking up, if we're looking up here, address one, two, one, three. Okay, I will now try to delete address ID three. Okay, right. Delete from address list where address ID equals three. Also, this is not allowed for me. Yeah? Tells me, hey, there is a foreign key referring to this. You cannot delete. Yeah? So if the if the child table is defined correctly. I cannot delete the entry in the parent table because then it would end up with con inconsistent data. Let's try if I can still delete it if I'm not referring to it. Yeah. So what was the entry? The entry was 5. Opa Karl was living at entry number 3. So I'll update the student list and say address is to Opa Karl is now moving to address number two. Yeah. Let's have a look on the table. Yeah. Three is no longer referred. And I will try to select, to use the same statement. I used it from the history. Yeah. Enter, pack, gone. Just deleted a little village in Waldviertel. Just out of my list. Yeah. This is how this is working, okay? Whenever we're referring, whenever we use a reference, we should also implement a foreign key because then we lower the risk or we exclude the risk from inconsistent data. That's it. That's references. And since one data set can now consist or some data which is boiling together can be distributed among several tables. We are going to, to, to learn how to collect this data out of the different tables. Yeah, we are joining and union and yeah, this will be in the next videos. For now, I think it's enough for us. So, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.